Sorry, Steve. And Yo. Yo. I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like saying it. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for checking us out again. Um, hope you guys, everyone is having a great morning. Friday, uh, day before Saturday, day after Thursday. <laughs> Uh, starting Friday, we wanted to start your Friday off great with another episode of The Coffee Breakup. The Coffee Breakup, starring <coughs> Marvin Schultz. That's me. Sitting beside him. Christian Vieira. <laughs> uh, it wasn't as exciting as Marvin's. <laughs> well, uh, whatever. What's up, guys? Um, do you want to do the... Before we begin! <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. Um, please follow us on every... Careful over here. A little bit further over there. There we go. Yeah. Follow us on every social media platform. Uh, go to our Instagram. Click on our link in the bio. You will see all of our avenues. We are on. Uh, we are on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud. I already said Twitter. SoundCloud, uh, <laughs> Deezer, Spotify, iTunes. You name it, we're there. There is no excuse to not follow us. There is no excuse to, to not see us. Uh, like, comment, and especially share, especially if the shoe fits either with yourself or, or with somebody, someone somebody you know, you know, your mom, that's going through it, whether it's a, a parent, a friend, you know, at this point, you know, we're getting older, so everyone can relate to this. Sure. Uh, so, yeah, once again, thank you very much. Marvin, take it away. Yes, thank you so much. What an honor. Uh, the question of the, the week that we have or the people have been asking us, we will talk about is at when should you get married? Big one. It's a big step in somebody's yeah. life. Uh, for the record, I am not married. Chris, are you married? No. Okay. So just we have to go. Oh, okay. Shit. So yeah, I mean, we we're not talk. We're not speaking from a marriage point of view. Yes, that's why I brought it up. Right. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um. So I mean, how do you want? How do you want to go about this? Because I I remember. So then I someone asked me this directly. I'm sure that someone else had asked you as well. So then my response was very very. Uh, technical. I think it's understandable, but it's not very relatable just yet. Okay. So I would like for you to go first. For me to go first. Because okay. I think you're a little bit more traditional than I am. So I think I, I, I'm, I'm going to challenge you with some of the things, or I may even agree. So I'm going to let you go, and then okay. I'm going to read verbatim. That way there's no bias. Cool. Let me take it away. Go ahead. Um, so when you sh- should, should one get married? I think oh, so I'm going to come in from a different perspective. I think it depends. I don't think there's an exact answer. It's not like a f- like a formula where you say you've been t- together for so long and been through so much and plus this and divided by that and then the answer is two and a half years. I don't think it works that way. But I do think there's a gen- general amount of time that should pass. So after like that that puppy stage has fa- that's passed and you've been through some stuff and you've seen that person. I honestly think. I know there's no specific time, but I think after two years. Okay, so then there is. So, so you think so by there's, there's a ballpark. You think by two years you should have had enough information and so of yeah, the other person. To exactly, where you can start, like you know, like like after two years, like you know. But then there's another aspect. It also depends on the age, because if you're 18 years old and you've dated somebody for three years and you're 21. I still think so much. Th- you had a point where so much will still change. I don't think so, man. You don't I, think so? I, I think there's more strength on that side because. Uh, not, never mind. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot yeah, because there's a lot of people that I know that have been in relationships for so long, like yes. six, seven years. Yes. We started dating when we were 15, but then when they're like 20 something, they're like, what have I been doing? Exactly. You know? It's like we have nothing in common. We've just do, done this because of this. We were together every day. We saw each other and stuff like that. We know the person. We went to high school with her. Um, I'm not gonna name a name. Just explain, and I should catch on. And so she's was this guy from high school since high school. Uh, I mean, so junior year, I believe they've been dating sophomore, junior year, um, and two kids, two baby boys, and uh, they were together. He was, you know, whatever. They were together for like eight, nine years. I'm growing. Like she talked to me, and she was like, "Dude, we have nothing in common." Like she was like, "Oh, I want to travel." He's like, I know who you're talking about. Yes. She's like, "I don't. I want to travel. He doesn't. I want to do this. He doesn't. We have nothing in common." Uh, the only thing that we have in common are the kids, and they split up uh, yeah. a couple of Careful. years ago. So. Careful. Yeah. They split up a couple of years ago, and you would think, well, they've been together for so many years. Uh, they have kids together, and it should have worked out perfectly. And But they've been together for su- such a long time and at such a er- young age that that's all they've known. Yeah. Right? That's all they've known. They, they, she wasn't with anybody else. 
So she thought you know, this was this was supposed to be it. This she thought this was the best sex of her life. She so, she thought this was her soulmate. She thought this was the best guy ever. And then as you get older, so much changes between fifteen and and even and, and twenty and then twenty two. And, and, and yeah, we've talked about it before. I mean, those are the ages where you want to grow. And and if you do have someone else, you want someone to grow with you. Right? Yes. I think we talked about it yeah, before. Yeah, like you yeah. don't you don't want an anchor. You want someone that's also going to be like another propeller. Right. If anything, to and continue to force you exactly. to go forward, and sometimes you find that imbalance. And, and sometimes, you know, you, you, you come, like, this is, you, know, you walk with somebody for so long, and you're 21, 22, 23, and then you're at a crossroad, and so one person wants to go route A, the other person wants to go route B, and that's great. And that doesn't mean that either answer, either route is wrong. It just means that this is route A is your route, and route B is your, is your route. Yeah. And that's perfectly okay, you know, that's your path that you have to take. But you think, man, I've been together with this guy since 16 years old, 17 years. <laughs> let me not take p- uh, uh, path B, although I want to take path B. But, you know, he wants to go path A, so let me follow him. And then 25, 26 years old, you're like, shit, what I've been doing for the past 30 years. Right. Six, right. You're like, I don't want to be here. And so I think age does play a role in it. Okay. Maybe not as much as maybe the length of the relationship. Yeah, th- so let's take age out of it. Let's okay. speak more towards our generation and our age group, I would say. So we're we're on so our the trend group? of thirty. Okay. We're twenty. You're turning twenty seven very t- soon. You're twenty seven. Yes, not 27. I'm twenty seven already. Yes. And uh, so in this case, someone who's already been dating for you think two years should be enough time for someone to yes. So start at least have a very good idea. I know people who have been dating for two three years. Yeah. And, they, and then the guy's like, oh, I don't know. Like I've not, I haven't even given it a thought. I'm like, dude, <laughs> yes. Okay. Like have you haven't even given it a thought? And then you ask the girl, and she's like, yeah, like, I'm waiting for it. I'm holding my breath. Yeah. And it's like. You know, obviously not on the same page, and this is yeah. something that that is gonna come up either one way you like it or you don't. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to tackle this head on. Yeah. Um. So the way I see it, you have to go really go through stuff. Uh, I think two years is a good, good t- two, two, two and a half, three years is a good time frame. Yeah. Um. The way I see this, man, the more you go through some that person, and I'm not saying bad stuff. I'm saying good stuff. Everything. Everything. The good, the bad, in between. I remember when I. I was dating this, she was amazing, sh- and, and at that point, like, we were dating for like, a little over a year, I got my wisdom teeth removed, and bro, I was I'm like a bitch when it comes to pain, she, they took out all four at once, oh. and I was in agony, and she took care of me for like three days, yeah. and I really appreciate it, and I was a pain in the ass to deal with, and she took, you know, she she helped me out, situations like that, when you were somebody, yeah, you don't see that until you exactly, you're when you, when somebody's suffering, when somebody's ill, when somebody uh, doesn't have a lot of money, and you have to carry that weight, Going on a big thing, going on vacation. I think, I think that's huge because I was, you know, I'm a big, I travel a lot, and the, you know, when I was in a relationship, I would, you know, I was on a two week trip to Europe with this person, and bro, it was a, like you don't know somebody until you travel with them. I say yeah. it all the time, and this isn't even romantic. This could even be a friendship, yeah. but for the sake of this discussion, we'll talk about romantic. And so when you travel with somebody, you get on each other's nerves, bro. You you sleep, you shit. Yeah, but then at the same time, it's almost like but if you're living together with someone. But but I think traveling is like a a good idea to see if in that direction. Exactly. And that's another thing I was going to – I think it would be good to live with somebody before you get married. I would hope. Yes, but some people don't see it that way. Really? Some people don't see it. Yeah, like even like – I would think that that's like a a preliminary Exactly. No, but like my my ex was like – I'm not moving out of my house unless I'm married. Unless I'm, I have a ring on my finger. Okay, and well that's engaged. Engaged. But even then, I still. But even think. exactly, and I'm like, there's a lot of prerequisites that haven't done. It's like yes. someone like signing up to go to college, and it's like you needed this one class to become a doctor. <laughs> it's like <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure there's other things I yes. should learn before. I do like like if things don't work out when you live together, it's not the end of the world. It happens. But like you really don't know somebody, and I, I think you should live with somebody. But it also de- it also depends because some people they think that uh, I think the older you are, they feel like there's not enough time left because then they want to get married, they want to have kids, and then biologically, woman, you know, it's, there's more complications as that, you get older. Well, yeah. So that's why it depends because the older that someone gets, it's like they kind of want to speed through some of the things. But so that if you're thing. younger, you have more of the time right. to really invest with the person. I because I think it's like marriage, kids. Building, like growing with somebody doesn't you can't it's not a marathon it's not a it's not a race it's it's you gotta it's slowly you gotta take your time with it and I get it I think a lot of women have that pressure yeah. uh, not just even biologically but also uh, society speaking tradition uh, traditionally everybody's like and we have a good friend of ours who I'm gonna who, go exactly, into that oh, go and just, and I talk to her and she's like you know like everybody has these expectations of me that I'm supposed to have kids by now and I'm supposed to be this mom and be this this wife and I'm like dude 
fuck what everybody else thinks. That's society's idea of you're supposed to be married by 24 and have kids by 26 and have a house by okay. this. Yeah. Like, this is all, but like, do what you need to do. Like, and then it's like, that's where people mess up because they're so pressured into this so that they skip these steps and then they end up with somebody that they shouldn't even have ended up with. Mm -hmm. um, that's the way I see it. So I say take your time. Um, you can really be with, with somebody for, I think, at least two years. I'm sorry. Anything less is, is... So, okay, what about more? Like, you, what, yeah, so when is when is the threshold is, yeah. crossed? Like, when you're like, hello? Yes, I think... At, okay, three years, I'm like, okay, that's good. That's that's like, okay, like, what are we waiting for? Four years? I'm like, dude. And I, I don't think really? you agree with it. Yeah. I, that, yeah. I'm going to go in. Yes. I'm going to go so in on I'll this. let you speak in a, in, a, in a minute. Yeah, I know, good, good, yes. good. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but like, I don't, I don't understand. I mean, that's, that's, I think where we see it very differently. Yeah, uh, you're, have, you're way more traditional yeah. than, than I am. But like, I'm like, dude, like, if you, if, if, if I'm dating somebody, like, if, let's say me, if I'm 29, I'm dating somebody four years, like, what the fuck am I waiting for? Like, like it, so there, there's two parts to this, but I'm different. Can you borrow your pen and your paper? Yeah, yeah, I write something yeah, yeah, of course. And right here? Yeah, yeah. All right, continue. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm a little different like that. Like, I was like, dude, if I'm dating somebody four years, I don't, I don't want to waste time. And like, I, I had somebody want to have. I'm traditional because I want to have kids. I want to be married before I have kids, or at least be engaged. I concur. So it's like, what, am I gonna fucking have kids when I'm? And for me, it's different. I can have kids at 34. I can have kids at 35. It's fine. It's different. I can have kids at 40, but like the partner that I'm with can't say the same. And obviously, at a certain age, the risk increases, and I, you don't you don't want to take that chance. So, but if I'm dating with somebody for four years, and I'm like, a ring is gonna come on that hand after three years. Like, I'm sorry. But I know you don't see it that way. But I'll let you take it away. I'm very interested of what you have to say. So I just wrote down really quick that, you know, and, and, and I'll go a little bit deeper into it. But for example, if you marry someone, mm -hmm. <laughs> I put debt, record, and IRS. Those are things because you can fall in love with someone. And when you realize that they have things that from their past maybe or situations that maybe they got screwed over on, on, in this case, it's here with the IRS. Now they owe a bunch of money to the IRS and they can't pay it back. When you get married and you tie, tie the knot with this person, that problem doesn't directly become yours, but yeah, it's still... Does it? I mean, is it relevant to uh, you? The thing is... But, doesn't it, doesn't it but, okay, but let's say our finances are now implicated because now whatever money that you make, it's not our money anymore. It's not money that we can use together. It's money that needs to be allocated elsewhere, especially if you have debt. What if you have student loan debt? What if what if you're dating someone? This is another thing that from from the movie from the TV show that we just recently talked about. Um, some girl she had uh, I don't know like thirty thousand dollars of student loan debt that she didn't even finish. You're gonna marry someone like that? Remember you not, now you have to deal with that. Do they even have a job to start paying that off? So is that a deal breaker for you if you meet somebody? Those are just things that you gotta take take into consideration. Oh, no, I, you know? I, I and what if they have a record? What if something happens to them back then? But they got arrested. Maybe nothing big, but they just have, you know, something on their record. And I know someone, someone told me, they're like, oh, I actually found this out because that happened to me as well. Where I got married with someone, I found out that they had a record. Now, every year, they call me to verify some sort of information because I show up as, as a previous spouse. But so they married somebody and the person didn't even have the decency to tell them, hey, I had a record? Well, they could have done their homework and looked them up themselves. No, but you should have. Double-edged sword, to. though. But it's a double-edged sword, though. I don't think so. You should. You should Anyways, you okay, so I'm going to go in. Oh, on go this. So... When should someone get married? I'm going to read verbatim. So if I sound a little bit lost or if I sound that I'm not making sense, this is what I wrote. So bear with me. Mm -hmm. um, this is what I said. We are in a very big generational transition where, as you say, people want to stay old fashioned, but it's not as simple as it was back then. Even those that are 100% sure will have doubts. Back then, they'd get married and stay together no matter what. Man went out to make money. Women could stay home, cleaning, cooking, taking care of the kid. The economy would allow for that. Relationships were built strong on the lack of outside distractions and communications with the outside world. I think you can agree with I that. I agree. Okay, yeah, good. Agree. Good. So far, so good. Um, everything now is temptation, especially in Miami. It's all about sex. Most of it. And yeah, the, the physicality. Divorce rates are higher than normal, and the rate of marriage is plummeting, and it all starts with finances, which is another thing. <laughs> Coronavirus, shit is getting real. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, is that why you were laughing? Because you were coughing? Or you were laughing at something else that I said? Uh, yeah, I was laughing. I was coughing. Okay, good. Sorry. Also, <laughs> tradition and ego. You want a man to drop 5K on a ring. That ring is on your finger temporarily. It holds no value other than the scrap price. But women feel that the ring means something more than a piece of metal. There's a lot of pressure 
on men as it is, and it continues to weigh on us with what's expected of us. Men want to be able to provide, even when it isn't asked for, because subconsciously, subconsciously the woman expects it. Going back to this person said that this was another topic, who should pay for the date, and I think we, we would discuss this. I'm hoping that that episode goes off before this one. But she said that it, that, that it should be 70-30, 70 men. Okay? Hold on. What, what the, she said that? I mean, I, I, I went off. So on, on when we ever touch on who should pay, we'll go because I have so much info on that. But anyways, <coughs> then this person says, so in today's age, the focus should be on the partnership, not the marriage certificate and relationships. As perfect as they are, get destroyed because of old-fashioned thinking that a man needs to propose and they need to have kids before age 30. This person now says, I guess I agree with the marriage aspect that there's no need to rush like how they did back in the day, but also got to understand girls if they want multiple kids can't wait super long for a guy to finally realize he wants to be together or realized at the last minute he doesn't and we're fucked so i'm almost done so then i say regarding marriage it all comes down to how one was raised and back to the generational transition kids and marriage are two separate things traditionally you'd want to have kids and your with your husband but in times where the statistics are against marriage does that now force you to wait to have kids because there's no certificate also in engagement is one thing that's just a ring which i agree is very stupid it's all aesthetic and perception but then to actually tie the knot and have the ceremony which is also aesthetic and perception financially is another topic altogether so if you're talking about having kids that's another topic altogether which another thing is if you do want to have kids with your husband um obviously you know you would expect the you would kind of pressure the man almost to put a ring on your finger in order for that to happen so then this is where i kind of flip it over would you rather rush a marriage to have kids at the right age with the wrong person? Or would you rather wait and risk possible complications in the future with the right person? I would, I would rather wait. The latter? Yes, absolutely. So that's why I don't, I don't think that, I think marriage is stupid. I really do. I, don't, I think uh, we're moving towards more, it's like, are you really gonna spend thousands of dollars for a ring? Are you really gonna spend thousands of dollars for a ceremony? But you don't have for to the do dress, either. the tux. You don't have to do either. You can just get uh, the certificate and sign it off. Yeah. Okay. So you can just okay. Do that fine. Like but a, then you have other implications as well, which is what they have tied. Now let's say it's a perfect situation. What if the person just doesn't feel comfortable with with getting married? What if they, you know, like the first thing that I said, you know, even now when they're sure about someone, they're still gonna have doubts, and it may not be because of you know they meet someone else or or they're in a certain you know society where where they're gonna be tempted. Maybe they just don't agree with the thought of actually having a certificate where things start to now everything is put together. There's a lot. Well, it's for that. Because now different. we filed our taxes jointly. We have to do everything together. You know, if not, for example, you, I'm sorry. No, for fine. example, if you have a, a, a separate checking accounts, people are going to look at you like, honey, why? Like, why, why do you have two accounts? You guys are together. You guys should have your own account together. Shit like that. So this is where where it comes back to all where you have to know who you partner like when you meet somebody like, yeah. and I this I'm huge on that like one of the few one of the first things not the first things but at some point at the beginning you ask do you want to get married like like that's a common sense question to me because there's a lot of guys and this happens all the time bro like yes, a lot of guys don't want to get married change. we've no, talked about we this did talk about this but you don't get the big picture you don't get the picture of elaborate the, uh, what I mean is that there's some guys who there's some girls who don't even ask that and then they fall into later on, and the guy's like, oh, you know, I don't really care for it. And then they stick with them because they, th like, three, four, five, six months down the line, they stick with them because they hope it's going to change. So you're going to do a gamble on a situation just because it might change. No, I'd rather do the opposite and know that somebody wants to get married. And with the slight chance that they maybe down the line, they change their mind. But at least when I ask them right then, they do want to have kids. But that, but, but that's, they do want to get married. But it's the same because what if they change their mind down the line if you start getting someone who says, oh, I don't want... For example, let's say you get into someone and the girl says, oh, I don't want to get married, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, I'm not going to date her. And even though she's perfect for you, if you skip, you pass on her. She's not perfect for me. Then if I want to get married, you she You pass on her. And then the next year, she marries somebody else. And she just didn't want to marry me. And that's perfect. No, you just fine. met. But that's the thing. I mean, it depends on how deep you go into it. But you can't go into it asking up front, oh, do you want to get married or not? That's something that you figure out on the line if no, you're with the right you figure, person. And then you figure it out, and then you waste a year, and a year and a half, and a two years. But you just said person, things can change. Things if they can change, they can change for the better, not but always like the you, worse. But, but you're gambling on something. You're hoping that they're going to change their mind, and that's where the problem is. And that's where a lot of women mess up, because a lot of women think they can change a man. And they will, you will never. I think you're looking too far into the no, future. Though. No, you got to no, live no, for no, what no, you no. have in front of you. I though. understand that. But for the sake of this, what you were asking. All right, fine. 
it, 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 this is this is somebody that matters. So when I meet somebody and I meet and I know they don't want to have they don't want to get married, I'm not gonna hope for the better that, that they change their mind. You don't want to get married, that's cool. And you know how it feelings because there's yeah. a lot of guys, there's a lot of go- guys who don't want to get married either. But like me doing doing a gamble on that, no, not gonna happen. I'm sorry. You know, I rather there's gonna be a lot of gambles in life, but that's not gonna be one of them. Uh, that's cool. But to answer that, um, to 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 backtrack a little bit. Um, so you said a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. Fuck all that. I have a question for you. What would, what would you say to a girl who's with a guy for like four or five years and he still hasn't proposed? What advice would you give her? Because I'm sure there's going to be, because that was a situation. That's why I brought this up because mm-hmm. this person told me, oh, um, my boyfriend, we've been together for four years and he hasn't proposed and my coworker is on the same boat. So when should be the right time? And then that's what I told them. I was like, listen, the whole marriage bullshit. Yeah. It's not the same as it used to be. Everything has changed. I understand. People don't see it the same way. So now, should you tell a girl, oh, if he's not willing to, find someone else who will? Absolutely. Really? Yes, bro. And this is what I'm saying. There's a lot of things you can compromise. But if you're a girl and you want to get married and that's what you want to do. And, and that's what you want to do. <laughs> that's what you want to do. And your heart tells you, I want to get married. And I want to have that where that where that dress or whatever and go on a honeymoon if that's what you want to do guess what you're gonna do that bro but at the same time if you have everything if everything is perfect with them but they just have that one disagreement when it comes to marriage you're really gonna sacrifice a full relationship if for that long because that person doesn't want to just tie the knot there's so many other things that, that that you guys have invested together that you guys are willing to throw it all away just because they don't want to then, then you ask yourself okay am i willing to is this is then yes am i willing to compromise that and, and live with this person for the rest of my life, knowing that this person probably doesn't want to marry me. And if you if the answer is yes, if you're willing to compromise that, then stay with this person. But if you have that nagging feeling, if you say, you know what, I don't know, I don't think, uh, I don't want to compromise, then guess what? I mean, you, I don't know depending on your age, but guess what? It's not worth staying in a situation that you're not 100% sure of it. You know, I'm telling you straight up. No, uh, you know. There are people that are like that too because I, I know someone else who they were dating for a few years. I don't know the number. But I think that this person was going to go to school up north or whatever. And she wanted to follow, but she wouldn't follow unless he proposed. And he did not. And they broke up. So? Simple. But let's to go back on that scenario. Let's say you've been with him for four years and he doesn't want to yeah. get married. But, but you do. And you ask him, would, are you, would you willing to give it up? Let's say you don't. Let's say you, you, you're willing to stay. I think people would eventually compromise. But... I don't think marriage is, is something you should compromise on. Like it, it's something both parties. There's certain things that I think in life I don't think you should. Compromise. I mean, I would understand if you are married and then you guys are thinking like, oh, you know, maybe we shouldn't have, because then that could get complicated. But I just, I, I just don't think it's necessary to have a happy, healthy relationship. I don't. No, I don't think it's necessary either. But if, if, if no, it's not necessary. But if so, you, then people shouldn't get married. No, they, they don't no, have to get married. People, sh- they don't have to. But people should do what they want to do. If you're the person who wants to get married. Guess what? Find a person yeah, who wants bro, to get But married. at the same time, it's almost like like when you're in this situation, it's harder for you to be like, oh, if you're not going to marry me, then I'm leaving. It's harder. It's hard. But f- it's, 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 it's profoundly easier than staying, to somebody, co- staying with somebody and compromising on something like that, especially if you've been with somebody for four years. What if you s- continue to stay with them for two, three, four years, and then they walk away or they cheat? And then you're like, shit, I'm 35 years old. I didn't even get married. And this guy still ended up leaving. Yeah, but at the same yeah, time, what? but things could change. What if, what if then you leave? They get into a relationship with someone else, long term, three, four years, and then they end up ma- marrying that person. Guess what? Then they, they, that person made such an impact on that person that they wanted to propose, that they wanted I to I still think married. that maybe, may, yeah, but at the same time, pe- things can just change. I mean. <laughs> You're constantly growing. Right now, you have certain needs and expectations, and, and, and you look for certain things in people. But then in, in, in another year, how much have we changed in just one year, Marvin? I, I, a lot. In one year, you get your entire life. Like Imagine. That. So you then what if life. you feel a certain way about something now, but then in a year, it completely changes. You're willing to, to, to have a restriction or like be like, oh, you don't want to get married? You don't see yourself getting married? All right, fuck it. I'm out. But then in two years, they but, probably but get that's, married but that's, because, but that's, because they change. They but, not, but you say you've been with somebody for four years. And so you're just taking a gamble five years, six years, seven years, eight years. So wh- when is when is when does this person get to say, according to Christian Vieira, enough is enough? When do they get to walk away f- without uh, having to feel like a piece of shit? No. When? 
10 years, but, 15 years? But why, years? why? But why? If everything else is great, why? Why if is everything else was great? Then it would. If, if everything else was, if if it's bothering you, then not everything else isn't great, and it, it isn't all great. Okay. You know. So, this at the end of the day, to answer your question, if you've been somebody for four years, and and, and uh, you've talked about it throughout, and they they don't want to do it, and it's just it's just something you gotta ask yourself. Can you compromise on this? And if is are you okay with that? And if the answer is no, guess what? You walk away. I remember, I remember my ex. She was with somebody for three years. I can give you as an example. She was with somebody for three years. She wanted to get married. He didn't. And she, years, she wanted to get married with this guy. I guess you know, after like a year and a half, two years, whatever. And he didn't want to do it. She stick with him, stuck with him with another year. She left him. Yeah. He, he, he didn't work out. Whatever. So a month later, she met me. Whatever. It was quick. And we stayed together for two years. A good relationship. A lot of ups and downs. And I saved, I wanted, I wanted, I thought this, I was just like, love my life, I was going to marry her, I, I saved for that ring, I saved for it. Uh, I already knew where I was going to get it, it was in Dallas, cool, like really like nice local jewelry, uh, really, really nice. Yeah. I already knew what ring, and things didn't work out, we broke up uh, in July, January, and tried whatever, six months, whatever, and then she met somebody else, and within three months, she got engaged and 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 and, and as I guess married to the guy. Yeah. Um. Uh, so things could change. Things could happen. But she was with somebody for three years, and three years was just a long time. The guy didn't want to propose. But should that's why that's why they ended. Yeah, he yeah. He, he he did he. She wanted something more. She wanted to, she wanted to get to get proposed and have kids and stuff like that. She was very eager, even since I met her. So yeah. she for I her. Remember, yeah, you told me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, dude, she, she, what? She should have stayed with this guy because they have had they have a history of three years. He could have possibly changed, but this guy probably. Would, I mean, it, maybe he would have, but w- if at that point he didn't, then guess what? Train left the station, you know. And deuces, you gotta follow your heart. You gotta do what you gotta do. I think there's certain things you shouldn't compromise: marriage, kids, you know, religion. Um, uh, at least not if, especially not if you've been really together for so, such a long time. Those, but those are things you gotta have a conversation with. Yeah, you know, and I mean, obviously, this problem doesn't arise overnight, right? I'm sure after four years, th- after four years, you're not just gonna be like, "Hey, by the way, are we gonna get married?" This, those are the small conversations that takes that they take place throughout throughout years, and so you gotta know your partner. But if your partner doesn't want to get married, and you do, then you're I'm sorry, you're not with the wrong, uh, right with the right person. And you can say yes, they could change their mind, but are you gonna stick with this person with the hopes that they'll change their mind? I'm sorry, but there's too many people but out there. But at the same time, winning. you could be sticking to something, meaning that you want a certain direction, and then what if you you want to get married? Then they agree, and they then you may you and might hate it. You change you your it. mind. Yeah. That is a so now they need to suffer. They wasted all their time then, because now you decided to change your mind. That is a possibility. That is a chance you want to risk. But guess what? You go in open minded with no expectations and you just ride around and see what happens. Enjoy the time that you have day by day. I understand, but if they've been together for four or five years, at some point it's like, dude, like what are we doing? If a woman wants to get married, you know, after four years, guess what? She should get married. And if a guy wants to get married, he should get married too. Um but like, like dude, there's so many people out there. Why are you gonna be with this person who doesn't want to like it baffles my mind. Especially if you live in a big city like Miami where there's three, four million people. I'm sorry, you can't find a person who sees that, who, who has the same uh, beliefs as you. If they want to get married, that they get marriage, having kids. It's not that hard to find a person who, who wants the same things as you do. But guess what? People try to make things work and stick to things and force things that aren't meant to be. Because guess what? They had some. They had a good co- couple of nights, good couple of weeks, good couple of months, a couple of years. And they think this is their soulmate. But I'm sorry, if this is your soulmate, then guess what? Marriage shouldn't be a compromise. And I said it, and I don't give a fuck what anybody says. You're so aggressive. I'm sorry. I feel very passionate about this. But I know you don't see things eye to eye with me. We don't have to. But I am glad we had the discussion. And I hope we could help some people out today. So, if you want to get married, <laughs> hit up Marvin. <laughs> you want to ring on that finger, girl? Hit me up. Yeah, hit up Marvin. <laughs> um, Not all at once. Because <laughs> no I, 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 what'd you say? There's don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Er, take a number. <laughs> uh, that's a better response. If you're looking for a good time, uh, no strings attached. You can date for uh, 20 years. There is an opening. <laughs> an My way. An audition. No competition. <laughs> Slide through. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much Thanks for so another much. episode of Coffee Breakup. Happy Friday, Marvin, myself, Chris. Happy Friday. Until next time. Ciao, guys. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's content. We hope you guys enjoyed the show. 
And if you did, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And follow us on every other social media platform. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Go ahead and follow us. Leave us a comment. And any feedback helps. Whatever you leave us, we'll be able to touch up on another show. Or we'll be able to get back to you with any other comments. Thank you. Thank you, guys.